tree-lined streets, historic buildings, and a gorgeous coastline. Savannah is a location scouts dream of, full of idyllic scenery that you can't find just anywhere. I'm Monica Pearson, host of Why Georgia. But there's more than beauty that draws TV and film crews to the hostess city of the South. It feels like you're in a Cinderella movie all the time. It's just so gorgeous here. We've got the beach, and we've got a very historic downtown, but we also have strip malls, and we've got the woods. You can kind of make Savannah anything that you, that you need. I've seen us play Florida a lot, which is funny. I came from Florida, and I've done more movies about Florida and Georgia than I ever did when I lived in Florida. I have personally been on films where we've used downtown as 1970s New York, Boston, um, of course Atlanta, um, you know, some San Francisco, you can use it for anything and it's fantastic. It is literally cut and paste. What do you need? We got it here for you. Crew members who live in Savannah know firsthand the city is perfect for everything from period pieces to modern movies. But there's another quality that attracts productions, the people. It's known as the hostess city of the South and there's a very good reason for that. No matter where you go, people are gonna smile, they're gonna say hello. Attorney Charles Bowen, known as Bo, is an entertainment lawyer by day. Several years ago, he founded the Savannah Film Alliance to keep the city's status as one of the world's premier filming destinations. When I moved to Savannah in 1995, Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil had just come out. And when that happened, tourism in Savannah exploded. It didn't take very long for people to realize what a benefit that was to the entire city and the entire city's economy. Since then, the city's reputation has grown, thanks to efforts like the Savannah Regional Film Commission, a liaison between film companies and the city. At this point, Savannah is the second largest hub of production after the Atlanta area, and we really hope that the sky's the limit here. That vision is shared by Stratton Leopold, He's the owner of Leopold's Ice Cream, and you can tell from the inside of the shop, he has quite the film portfolio. I was in L.A. 20-something years. I had an office at Paramount for 12 years. I was on the lot there. I much enjoyed producing, being free, freelance producing. His career launched as a casting director and eventually took him to become executive vice president at Paramount Pictures. Now he's back in Savannah, testing out the latest ice cream flavors and taking on projects he's passionate about. I eat a lot of ice cream, I love it. Apparently I was always talking about missing it and being in it. And I was living in LA at that point and to think of living in Georgia and still making movies in those years especially was eh, maybe, maybe not. But now, of course, everyone lives around the world and still makes movies. So it's a, it's a perfect situation. Just like Mr. Leopold, working in a place that's home is like a dream for crew members living in Savannah. I'm not having to commute, to have everything here and raise a family and work and doing what I love all at the same time is probably as close to a dream as you can possibly get it. I grew up in Woodbine, Georgia, and it's a um, pretty small town, and never ever would I have imagined that this was like a thing that I could do. I love Georgia. This is where my family is. This is where my friends are. This is where I grew up. Um, I know this city, Savannah, and Atlanta like the back of my hand. I've had a lot of like job offers to go other places, to move away from Savannah, but I find myself knowing that Savannah is coming up. We are the next big thing. Why would I leave that? Production teams are busy in Savannah and you'll likely spot some scenes in a few upcoming movies. Thanks for watching this episode of Why Georgia. I'm Monica Pearson.